and welcome back to Torvale where we will be continuing the build of the Royal Albert Bridge. Um, today I am going to start doing the tubes that go across, across each of the spans. Um, now I've laid it all out here, I have sort of put it together myself um, before gluing it. I've got a feeling it's going to be a bit of a pain but um, we shall see. Now the first thing that they say in the instructions to do is you've got these ply um, the ply bits that go in the middle these little indentations here are where the bits go across to hold each of the sides up on the lattice work um, it's not actually on the other balsa bits so what they recommend is once you've done it you cut the channel out and then that should sit down inside the two bits of lattice over the top of the uprights. So without further ado, let's see if I can try and get this done. Basically, I've laid them out here. They, they give you lots of cocktail sticks, each of the holes, you line them up with everything. And as you can see, they're all numbered and all lettered. So it's pretty, pretty easy to go and get it all together. Um, I was going to say idiot proof, but I did screw it up the first time I tried putting it together. So yeah, I shall uh, go for it now. What I'm going to do is just start off on one side and it doesn't really matter about too much glue on this because the whole outside edge of it will need to be sanded down afterwards because it doesn't actually come the right size it just steps down uh, it does give you some a couple of formers which the formers will give you the top and bottom of make sure I find them now. will give you the top and the bottom of each of the Each of the spans, each of the things here. So once once you've uh, once you've put it all together again, that is what you use to sand it and use that, which will go apparently inside one of the towers once the towers are built, so it'll all sit and lock together. So yeah, that will be how you sand it. Um, I haven't got a decent sander or a plane at the moment. So I won't be doing that one for a, a while, but I just want to get it all basically put together so that we can see what it looks like and get more of an idea. So we will start to do this and see if I can learn how to do this speedy uppy thing on YouTube, which I've seen a lot of. <laughs> Once you start to get to the outer edge, they do go thinner and they do start to get slightly smaller to make the curve. But as I said before, you do need to sand them down afterwards. So I will um, will be buying a mini plane or some description to, to form them afterwards. Um, <clears throat> now, I did mention when we were putting it together, putting the lattice work together in the last video, that um, they had little holes in the sides, which I think I showed you. Well, I'm imagining that you leave a little bit. Once this has all gone together, obviously it's going to go with the, um, with the cocktail sticks. I'm taking it that once the edge is out, you can then cut the edges off, leaving a little tiny piece and that should lock it into position while you glue it all together obviously I haven't got that far yet I'm sure we'll um, I'm sure we'll all find out together when I 
try my best to get it done. Anyway, I won't bore you with this. Let's do the fast forward and get rid of it. Well, so that's the first half done. What I've done is just tapped all of the cocktail sticks together just to make sure they're stuck out the same so that we'll have enough out of each side when the other side is done. There you can see what I was on about with the um, the cuts in the original bit of ply in the middle. You'll have to run down through those once it's all together, but that's a little way away yet. All right, let's carry on with the next bit. So these are the last ones going on. quite simple to get together once you've worked out previously as to which bit goes where. So once it's done, there you go, you can see with the end there it sort of makes a sort of tube and then you've got to sand it down to match these once you're done. So now all there is Peter does say, the guy who designed and did this kit, Peter did say clamp it together. But I haven't got any clamps, so elastic bands it is. So that's both of them together now, completely finished. Well, completely stuck together. This one has had a couple of days to go off and this one is still gluing. So we'll leave that one alone for a few days just to cure itself. So what I was saying about cutting off, you can just see I've left a little bit, not a lot on that one. In fact, there's not a lot at all, but I will do that because when you get the main bridge, <clears throat> it will sit down inside it and then the little lugs, if I leave them out from those, will fit into the little holes there, all the way along. So that should locate it once we're done. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to need, because this looks as wide as the bridge itself. So it may need a little bit of sanding along this front edge here, but you know, we'll, We'll work that out when we get there. So yeah, that's uh, not looking bad at all. I'm quite um, quite happy with that, how it's gone together so far. And there's, you can see the, well, remember I said these little divots, so I'll have to cut in across there, and then they will sit in on top of these little bits here so it looks like they're actually going up and keeping it together once it's all done so there you go well that's that near enough done i'm just gonna start the pillars there are two of these pillars one at each end the center one is slightly different as you can see from this photograph here the center one is made up of these columns um, that looks a bit more fiddly. So I thought I'd do these two end ones. Uh, yes, I have already made one up, but um, again, as with everything else, it's all etched or laser cut, shall I say, but laser so that it's got a bit of texture on it for the brickwork. And these <clears throat> will go all one way only. To put it together. To make it easier there are actual formers which come in so I will stick those together I won't go through the boring bit and let you watch me because I'm bound to stick it to my fingers because we're using it's recommended to use that and I find with this sort of stuff it won't stick the stuff together but as soon as you touch your finger on it it will just bond your skin Anyway, let's go for it. I'll be back once it's done. Okay, well, we're getting there. Um, but 
I'm having issues with this. I don't know whether it's me. Um, I'm doing it on both surfaces because it's porous, putting it together, but it just doesn't seem to want to take. I don't know, I, you know, it, it will <laughs> stick to my fingers, but it doesn't seem to want to take. So I'm going back to the um, aliphatic resin um, and masking tape to put it together. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm unsure if I'm doing it wrong or or what, I don't know. Um, that's what was recommended to do. But, you know, as long as it goes together, sticks together, can't see that going to make any difference because it's wood at the end of the day. Um, yeah, we'll see, I suppose. Well, that's both of the pillars done. Um, I've resorted back to the aliphatic resin. I'm sure I'll get used to how this actually works at some point. I have read it. It just didn't seem to work apart from sticking itself to me. Um, but yeah, those two are done then. So I'll let them go off and then we'll start on the central pillars that are a little bit more uh, intricate and delicate and fiddly lo looking at it. And before I uh, crack on with those central pillars, I've had a bit of a bit of a change around the cupboards which were up and across and down this side I've decided to move away um, so this is my, now my setup um, I've got this chest of drawers up across and it's all up on the walls now uh, I've actually got myself a cutting board been and bought myself some of these clamps which look quite good for uh, the baseboards when I start getting them put together because I'm useless at joints. Um, they also had this battery um, battery tool so I've got that one all from again from Lidl's and this cracking pot with loads of accessories in it. So that's obviously tools for a later date. Um, but yeah, I've decided to start setting things up. There's the dodgy extra lamp for extra light for the videos. And here, this is my sort of setup with the, uh, with the tripod sat next to me. So yeah, I've uh, managed to start stacking stuff up, emptying other boxes that are out of the loft just to basically get um, get all my stuff together uh, in one place, make it a bit more user friendly. So yeah, that's given me a lot more room. Um, so yeah, let's crack on and get these pillars sorted. Here we see the components then for the pillars. The, uh, these pieces here have these small pieces onto there and then once you've got them all down here which there are seven of them these then go onto the outsides to form the pillar now to save gaps i will be running this edge and the other edge onto some wet and dry paper just to make a slight bevel so that when they go together you don't have a gap obviously there will be a, a sort of 45 degree gap there or whatever it is so sanding them down will make that gap disappear hopefully and there's the one I've just put on so it goes together what I'm going to do here is then glue another one into here there into that side once that one's done and in this one, then I can then sit the other two and it gives it two. So that one there is going to go in. And once that one's in there, then I can slot these others in place. Hopefully. We'll see. Now, again, I mentioned on a previous video, I'm using this zap stuff here. Now, I've imagining it's supposed to be fairly quick um, and the thing that I'm finding with it is there yeah, those two are glued on sorry I'm out of there those two have been glued on twice 
something that's just not taking. So could somebody tell me what I'm doing wrong, please? Because um, I've been onto there. Yes, it gets soaked in straight away. So both of these have had one coat. And then I've then gone onto it again, held it into place. And it took four times before that piece there was actually stuck. Um, it seems to be great if you want to stick stuff to your hands. Uh, but I'm going to go back to the uh, aliphatic glue, I think, the resin, because it just may take a little bit longer, but that tends to work for me. This doesn't. Not that easy. Pete does say that if you uh, get a screwdriver bit through the middle, it tends to help. But obviously me being me, I forgot that slight one. Um, let's see, there you go. He reckons a four mil bit through the middle. Yeah, that probably would have been easier. Um, four mil drill bit holds them all in place, but anyway. They're on now, so I can, uh, once those are slightly glued, I can now get the other piece for the other side and glue that on. But yeah, I'm just going to use this stuff. It's um, a little bit messy on the fingers, but at least it doesn't actually stick the whole structure to your fingers and you don't end up swearing, so that means less editing as well. So, yeah, yeah, that's easier, isn't it? Brilliant. Am I getting the first uh, the first couple in? Well, the first one was all right, but getting the second one in is a bit of a ball ache. Um, but once you've got again, far too much glue on it. But once you've got the second one in. It holds them all together. So then the third and the fourth piece basically just go in like that, job done. Yeah, a bit too much glue, but yeah, it'll all hold together. So that's the two outer ones done, or the two inner structures done. Make sure that they're level. And then uh, I will start on these bits in a second once those have dried. After much deliberation, I've decided that um, these side pieces here, they are uh, what clad the outside of the pillars. So they'll go on. And then the next one will go on on the side. So the best way to get it, so, see I'm nowhere near the camera. Right, so the best way to get these to then meet up if you look at this, obviously there will be a slight gap uh, in there. Um, but, you know, the easiest way to overcome that is to grab a hold of your piece of... your piece of really blurry footage and... Uh, technology, eh? Just put a little chamfer on the edge of this piece. So a bit of wet and dry paper. I don't want it too much. You can see the black is coming off from the um, from the edge where it's been laser cut. But that's all I'm going to do on each of the pieces, I've decided. A little piece of, there you go, you can see the, uh, the white or the, the wood now appearing and rubbing the black off a little bit. There, so there's a bit of an angle on it. it doesn't need to be much but you must remember then which way you do it because you don't want them to be opposite to either side so as you see I've got all of these to do um, and that's just for two of the pillars there are in fact four so I'd better crack on yay Again with the 
cutting resin just a little bit make sure that these are the right way around and then put them on now with this these little lugs at the top that help position these two they get cut off so as long as that there is together then can then put the next bit on Now what I'm going to do as well, I've just decided, is under there a little skim along a little. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, a little skim along that edge. And that will show, surely help fill the gaps if there are any. Ta da! Lovely. Look at that. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. It's bound to go pear shaped sometime. As I say, these these lugs here will come off afterwards and sand it all down. Just gotta make sure that they're in the right area. Now obviously this glue doesn't go off hard straight away. So I'll have to just sit and hope what I'm thinking is get all the edges on and then wrap around some masking tape which should should he says should hold it so i will carry on and we'll come back when we're finished okay so once you've done them all and you've cut the lugs off the top that's roughly how it should look i would imagine there's a few little bits but that can that can be sanded down before painting at a later time so basically this whole thing here You'll have the two of them. Here's the other one, which I haven't quite finished yet. I've still got three more to go on. But basically, these will be the top pieces, which will go onto the top. And these will bridge through the middle of it. And then the same on the other side there. So that will be one. And then there'll be another couple in behind. And then that will make the four spans. So, yeah, I'm quite, quite happy with that. Just got to finish all four and then uh, they come to roughly the same height as those, as the main pillars. So, yeah, I'm happy with that one there. Um, just carry on until they're finished and then we'll set one of the, uh, set one of the bridges up to see what it looks like. Now, as you can see from the photos here, um, this is the base of the pillars on the actual bridge. Now, obviously the, the one that I'm showing you here is round because it's only the single span, whereas the bridge that I'm building is double span. Um, but it, the kit comes with extra formers, um, or extra plates, if you like, made out of MDF. So I will use those on the bottom to, um, to basically make them, shape them, make them not look square, uh, which will hopefully look more like the real thing is here. Um, and as you can see from the top, it's got the, uh, the octagonal bits on the top. Now, if we then come back to this, which is the actual bridge now, um, I'm just testing this. There you go. There's the, as you can remember from the, uh, the photos it's a single span whereas this is obviously a double now they do come with these extra former plates but luckily for me there, there will be two other pillars but they're here still gluing um there will be two other pillars that will end up going in here but i have got extra ones of these so i'm thinking if you just look back at this other photo a minute um I'm kind of thinking that the top bit I could make a bit thicker and then if we come back here so I can get rid of that and put another one of those on the top which would probably look a little bit better then there um, okay this is just 
just a quick sort of mock-up. Um, I've also said, I think it was in the last video, that I may, when it comes to the layout, go taller. Um, it's something that I'm considering. It all depends on the baseboard, but obviously once the, the bridge itself is complete, it'll be a double span of that. But I don't think the... I don't think it looks quite right height-wise if you think that this is this area will end up being ri a river. Um, so I'm thinking that if I take this off and then that goes on to there. Obviously this is just a quick mock-up. I mean once they're glued together you won't really see that line once it's once it's all painted up. But then that, I think, so again, you can put that on top of there and link it all together with a full mill rod down the middle of it. That would possibly look a bit of a better height. Just means I've got a little bit more work on the baseboard, but it also means then I can have to either side of it, a bit more scenery with the pub, etc., down the bottom here, if that's what I end up doing. So that, there you go. That is the end of this one. Um, obviously, I've still got a few bits here just to put back together. But yeah, that's basically the lot done. So the next bit are the two end and central towers that go in between the two spans and also of the boom across the top there which <clears throat> I'm lying because you've just watched that but yeah no it, I'll go for <laughs> see this is where you've done a four minute video and you don't want to go back and waffle on again so yeah the next video will be the pillars in between and obviously at the right over the other end um <clears throat> bit of a mistake on my part continuity error but yeah i will be hopefully fitting the pillar the um what would you call it big old gray tubey thing in here once it's all been trimmed and cut out that will take quite a while um but yeah any questions any comments about the glue in particular uh please please do message me um please do tell me where i'm going wrong in my uh idiotic ways because there's bound to be something that i'm just doing doing wrong so yeah hit the subscribe button if you want to carry on looking at it and hopefully uh this will be done fairly shortly we'll have another video up uh take care guys Cheers, bye-bye.